What's up folks, JD at JD's Custom Buggies. Um, this is going to be video number one. Uh, ASW Carbide 150. It's one of our MBX racers, belongs to the, uh, the Farrell family. Um, driven in the youth class. It's actually shared by a brother and sister, uh, Kate and Brody Farrell. So, just to show you uh, how inexpensive MBX is, I believe these folks paid about 300 bucks for this buggy. And out of had a transmission issue that they had to bring here to just to get it going it was stuck in gear had a bad shift drum and i think they bought a slide card kit a cdi and a coil and went to town um and a set of rear tires that's not them they basically need to um it's got a set of front tires on the back and that's just to transport it so it'll fit in the truck that they transport in with the toolboxes that they had in the truck um so that being said uh, it's coming in for basically a complete overhaul and makeover. First off, the motor's coming out. Um, going to basically do a 61 millimeter drop in SSPG, uh, 61 millimeter drop in, and a 61 millimeter head. Going to be port and polished. Uh, they already have a slide card kit on here, so they're running Makuni already. And the other thing we're going to do while the motor's out is basically tear this transmission out and it was grenaded in one of the last races so transmission is toast so we're going to take all the the parts out of there and replace them with new parts and uh that'll be it for the motor uh we are going to put one of our pipes on it so this thing should uh run pretty stout when it's done and over with uh as far as the front um uh, what we're going to do is put the wheels out in front of it if you guys have uh been paying attention on the uh, JD's Custom Buggies YouTube channel. We actually did something similar with the Carter Talon. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lop off the front end. Uh, I am going to try and incorporate the hood into the build because I think the hood is cool and it makes it unique to American Sport Works. So I don't know as far as the location of the hood or how it's going to change yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, as far as the cage goes, we're going to weld the cage in. We're going to use the stock bars, but it's going to weld them in to make it more rigid and uh, strengthen up the frame and hopefully it'll lend us some better handling and i'm gonna do something they, they ended up chopping off the rack uh early on when they had the buggy so we're gonna do something cage wise to tie it all in together and make it give it a cleaner look and make it more functional and whatnot so as it sits right now i have yet to touch it this weekend is coming up hopefully i'm gonna tear into this i have this build going on We've got this build going on, number 248, so we have a lot to do uh, in about a month to do it. So we'll see, see where we end up, but um, hopefully we'll knock a good chunk out this weekend. Uh, subscribe to uh, JD's Custom Buggies on YouTube. Give our, uh, give our Facebook page a like if you would. And uh, go to Got Buggies, G-O-T-B-U-G-G-I-E-S dot com. Sign up on our newsletter. And you'll get sent a 10% uh, off coupon code for anything on the website. So that being said, until the next time, which might be another video tomorrow. We will see you later.